So let's get to the real kind of crux of this section, and that's going to be with power functions. But we need to introduce that word, word proportional first so we can do kind of some of the word problems that come with it. We're going to say q of x is a power function if you can write our function is equal to k times x to the p. So notice what we're saying is um, like our output y here is proportional to x to the p, x to the p power. And so this may look really easy at first blush, right? It's just like, all right, if they give me equa an equation like this, if we're trying to identify which are power functions, does it look like this? All right, so the first one doesn't really look like that, so we could say no. But this one actually is a power function, and that's why this problem, this, uh, this uh, section is really enforcing our algebra rules, because 5 over x to the third is really 5x to the negative 3. Right? So in this problem, k is equal to 5 and p is equal to negative 3. So that's a yes. Right? Now this problem kind of looks like it might be a power function. right? We have a k, we have something to a power, we're good. right? But no, because notice where our x is here. So our x is in the base, it's not in the exponent. The exponent needs to be a constant, that's not the case here. So this is not a power function. Now if we come to this problem, what do we think this one might be? So let's kind of think back to number one. How did we move that x to the negative 3 up top? Well, you can do the same thing with this x here. This is really 2 thirds x to the negative 1. So k would be 2 thirds, p would be negative 1, and that would be a power function. Now here's another one of the tricks that we can have. Right? So the square root, that definitely doesn't look like a power. Well, something from algebra. Again, this is a lot of algebra reinforcement, right? Something from algebra is the square root is actually the same as raising something to the one-half power. So here k would be 3 and p would be one-half. So yes, that is a power function. Now this one's probably the closest we've seen, but what about that divided by 2? How does that work? Well, it's something I was actually doing over here kind of without mentioning it. But this is really the same thing as 5 halves times x squared. All right, because you can think of this whole thing as multiplied by one half. All right, and so yes, this would be this would be uh, five halves would be k and p would be two. So yes. Finally, this problem. This is a little bit tricky again, but again, this is just algebra. So when you raise something in parentheses to the third power, when when it's multiplied, you can raise each each thing on the inside to the third power, and you get the same thing. So this is really equal to three cubed times x squared cubed. All right. So this isn't obvious, but we have uh, 27 here. 3 cubed is 27. Now what would this x squared cubed be? Well, we know from algebra x to the a to the power of b is equal to x to the a times b. So this is really equal to x to the sixth. This is a power function. k is 27, p is 6.